Otakus, the Japanese word used to describe someone who loves interests such as anime, manga, video games, with the slight itty bitty hitch that it also means that you're obsessed. You basically live, breathe, and eat the before mentioned. So, why am I talking otakus? Well, I'm not more or less talking about them, but more or less talking about one, what makes a bunch of them these days, and two, what they really are obsessed with these days. Which, unless you've been living under a rock, it's it's gotcha games. Now, if you don't know what gotcha is, basically it's 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 gambling, okay? It's just gambling. Basically, you can spend in-game currency, which you can earn with hard work or with money that your daddy worked hard for to basically open a chest or whatever gimmick the game is using to give you a random in-game item. So basically, it's kiddo's first roulette. Okay, but in actuality, it's supposed to imitate those toy vending machines that we used as kids to get those crappy tattoos and bouncy balls. So you're most likely asking yourself, well, why are these games oh so popular? That's a very good question, my friend. Come, come, come a little closer. Yeah, yeah I'll tell you. Come a little closer. A little closer. Waifus. All right. It's it's waifus. All right. It, because people want to lock the very hot JPEG image they can move around on screen. Now, I can't even give you guys a lot of crap for this because I know that a lot of women also play these games for the husbandos. You you know who you are, okay? Y you know. You know who you are. Again, my my point is getting away from me. There's there's nothing wrong with any of this. Maybe maybe just a little bit. But listen, all right. Let's let's move on to to the the main reasons here, okay? What this video is about. Even though you can spend money, you don't have to, and most of these games are free. Yes, the four letter magic word free. And I mean, it's an extremely smart business strategy. If I know gamers, and I know gamers, all right, it's that if the game is actual doo doo butter, I'm talking the worst game on planet Earth, if it is free, they will at least take the time to download that game and try it. And yes, I do this as well. Because at the end of the day, what's the harm? You download a free game, you either like it and you keep it, or you download a free game, go, this isn't for me, and you delete it. You haven't lost anything except time. Valuable, valuable time that you'll never get back ever again, and you have to live with that. Anyways. And I mean, it does really work for these gacha games. It helps that they can be a wide variety of game genres. You got open world games, card games, turn-based games, RPGs, hack and slash, whatever this is. And again, these games are live service. They have events, missions, a story, multiplayer. They have a lot of content that allows people to continue playing it and again, that four letter word, it's all free. Kind of, kind of, a little hitch, a little, little tiny. But I'll talk about that in a second. I'll talk about that in a second. Me personally, I held out for a very long time. I didn't think that these types of games were worth it. I didn't think I would like them. But one day, something extremely awful happened. I was so bored. I know, I know, a fate worse than death. I was sitting there and I had nothing to do. So what happened? My sister tells me about how the company who made Genshin Impact made a Persona-like turn-based game. And it was free. That was it. I was done for. Free and Persona turn-based combat. I was sold immediately. Downloaded it and played it. And I'm not ashamed to admit, I played it for hours. And I still do from time to time. When, when, I, when I do have time. Now, I did mention that hitch before. I say that these games are free, and but I did mention before that you can spend real life money to get in-game currency to kind of skip ahead and just be able to buy these characters or buy the chance to unlock these characters. Because at the end of the day, it is random. You might not get the character you want. You might get something different. Some games don't even have just full character roulettes, but also items. Now, me personally, I have stayed a free player. I have yet to spend any money on any of these gacha games that I have, and I will continue to do so. Off of the simple fact that I don't see the point of really spending money in these games when the whole point of it 
is to do a lot of the activities so you can earn items or the in-game currency to then go and get these characters but again like i said it is life service so a lot of the times these character banners is what they are called will only be up for a certain amount of time and then they go away through a rotation system so if you really wanted say character mccotty pants and they were in a rotation and they disappeared they probably won't be back for a couple months so you might have missed out on them so people might feel like they need to spend money so they can get their you know jpeg image it is definitely a very slippery type of slope but i wanted to talk about it because i'm seeing more and more people who enjoy anime and the otaku culture in general really starting to accept gacha games it's definitely starting to become a very popular form of gaming and I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if as the years kind of go on, we start to see Western games start to adapt this gacha kind of culture. I, the big example I see when I was doing research was apparently like people really compare FIFA and the NBA 2K experience to basic. Blue boxes were a thing for a while as well, and they kind of remind me of gacha a lot. But those got banned in the EU because it was gambling. And I wonder if that's also a future we can see with gacha games as well happening. But I guess we'll have to just kind of see what happens. But if you have yet to get on the gacha train, I, I do recommend it. Again, they are free for the most part. So if you're looking for something to do or you just want to try something new, I, I, I recommend it. And like I said, there's something for everyone. Different genres, different types of gameplay. If you like card games, you can find something. And I, and I want to make this very, very clear, just for the record. I do not condone gambling. This is basically what it is. Again, I'm going to just state that for the fact. It just looks very different just because it looks like anime and all that. It's gambling, okay? So if you think that you might spend a lot of real-world money on this, I do not recommend getting into gacha. It's unless you are prepared for the consequences that comes with getting addicted to something like this. But that is just my opinion. At the end of the day, do what you think is best for you and just have fun. Just make sure you're being responsible about it. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.